Bonnie asked me to explain the difference between a coupon rate and interest rate or yield to maturity. The coupon rate versus the yield to maturity as every time, especially when Bank of Uganda publishes results or calls an invitation to tender for the treasury bonds, those two rates feature often and you would want to know what they mean and which one should you pay very close attention to. Uh, that, For me to explain this, I'm going to use the latest bond, which can easily demonstrate that and we walk it through over time. Let's use the current 15-year bond, the one which you are seeing on the graph here, the 15-year bond. You see, it has an interesting word that I want us to pay attention to, right? New bond. This bond was first issued to the market on July 11th, 2024. At that point, no one had it. That was the first time that bond came to the market. It's UG 12K12. It was the first time it was being issued. And you can see for it, it did not have any interest rate, any rate. Yet you can see the five-year bond had a 14.25% and the two-year bond had a 13.5%. We are going to come to that. For it, it did not have any rate whatsoever. So the first time a bond is issued, before it's issued, it has no rate. That means it has no interest, it has no coupon rate, it has no yield to maturity. It's until the first auction that the bond first gets its coupon rate, right? So, which brings me, this was July, and when we go to the results of July 20. 24, you know, this that you are seeing here, let me make them bigger, right? Now, all of a sudden, by the time, by after the auction, now it, com it comes out and it has an interest rate. You see, let me circle it here. Now, all of a sudden, it has a 15.8%. Now, and its cut off yield to maturity is also 15.8. If we are to pay attention to, we are paying attention to this here. Why? The first time a treasury bond is issued, the first time it is issued, you know, and I'm going to type it somewhere here for all to see. The first time. A treasury bond is issued. Yield to maturity is equal to, no, its coupon rate is equal to its cut off yield to maturity. Right? So that means they cut off yield to maturity on the first day the treasury bond is issued in this case we are saying it was first issued on july which was 15.8 that automatically became its coupon rate so it's the first time it's issued you can see for this for these other bonds 14.25 were there as we have seen the 14.25 and the the 13.5 but the 15-year bond for it in the auction, in this auction, it did not have any rate here. So that means the first time it was issued, its cut-off yield automatically became its coupon rate. And as you can see, when we went on, and to demonstrate that at that point, you see, anyone who bought a bond at that point comes back to this pricing Excel, which we love so much, you know? It means the first time it was issued on July 11th, if you bought a bond of um, 10 million, you paid 10 million, your all-in price, which we call the data price, was 100, 
and your all in price your clean price was also a hundred you had no accrued interest there was because that was the first time it was getting to the market and that means the coupon rate is equal to the yield to maturity and to demonstrate it further for you to appreciate it for you to appreciate the difference between the coupon rate and interest rate or what we call the yield to maturity we are, go we are going to track this bond forward now this is the july the first time it was auctioned off and you can see it is 15.8 then we come to september in september it was brought back to the market now all of a sudden the person who buys it in september the bond we are paying attention to is 16.5 but its interest rate you see now the coupon rate never changes i'll type it here the coupon rate never changes it's set on day one of the bond auction but the yield to maturity changes it can go up or it can go down as you can see here in september it's 16.5 and this was september um 5th so that means the person who bought a bond in september 5th if we are to put it here you know this person paid 16.5 that was the yield to maturity so that means they paid 9.8 and this is a very important point to note actually let me duplicate it here for people to see right if we take it back a little bit here before and we say the person who came in on september november 11th and they paid 15.8 for a 10 million bond they paid 10 million the debt price was equal to the yeah, clean price fast forward two months later the interest rates change they move from 15.8 to 16.5 now the coupon rate has not changed but because of the differing factors at that point now the interest rate the nomi the yield to maturity has changed and it's 16.5 that means the person who bought it at that in september got a better deal one for a 10 million bond the same type of bond they paid 9.8 million which means the discount they got was of 10 million minus that 147 and the data price was 99 while the clean price was 96. what's the difference between that we shall go into that a little later but the person who bought in september for the 10 million bond they paid an accrued interest of 243 thousand so that because the bond had existed for 56 days before it had ever paid a coupon you know so as you can see in the september that person got a really good deal fast forward that same bond comes back in october you see and in october its yield to maturity changes the coupon has not changed you can see the coupon is staying 15.8 but the yield to maturity is 16.75 see that's what we are tracking there you can see now because of circumstances the debts have changed what does that mean for the person investing we move i'll create a duplicate for that add it there to show you so at that point it's 16.75 but it was in october 30th now both this person is also buying a bond of 10 million now he's paying 9.9 .9 million even when interest rate is higher one thing you should notice 
this is October, this is July, this is September. The person of September has an interest rate of 16.5. The person of October has an interest rate of 16.75, which means this person has a higher interest rate but is paying more money. Why? By October, this 10 million bond has an accrued interest of 480. So that means the more now the bond has existed existed for 111 days before it has paid a coupon. Which means the person who is buying it is buying the bond and buying the accrued interest. And the clean data price is 100 and the clean price is 95 shilling then from there we come to january perfect at this point the interest rate 